Hello everybody, welcome to Studio Rundown for April 23rd, 2023. This is Studio Rundown, but maybe we should call it Studio Roundup to go with the urban cowboy, do I say faux cowboy theme that we've got going here. With uh, that We're down in the boot heel of New Mexico, we've been here for eight days or so. Uh, we're not that close to Texas here, uh, but um, a lot of these paintings have a Texas theme which I'll explain in a sec. Uh, this is the first one. This is a golden-cheeked warbler, and this bird is uh, a, 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 war, a warbler that, li uh, that breeds only in the hill country of Texas. Very, very cute warbler, very beautiful. It's a little bit, well, I shouldn't, I think it's a lot challenged by all the growth in, in uh, in, in Texas around Austin and uh, hopefully they'll take care of some of the habitat for this bird down there so we can continue to have it. Everyone who cares about the, uh, the creation cares about this bird. Here's a photograph of it from a calendar. It's not what I'm working from exactly, but it uh, shows how gorgeous this little bird is. We've got to save these birds. Then uh, the second one is an autumn, another gorgeous bird from South Texas. Uh, this is an Altamira Oriole, and uh, it's a very large Oriole, not quite as big as a crow, but huge, and it uh, bright orange and black. And I didn't get a chance to work on this painting too much down here. It's a start that I'm doing because I failed on another start that I had done two or three years ago or been working on for a couple of years that isn't working. So I think I'm very optimistic about this start. And uh, here's another Texas songbird. This is a great kiskity. Now, uh, this is another uh, high personality, attractive uh, South Texas songbird, although it can be found all through the subtropics if you go down to Mexico. Uh, you might find a great kiskadee down there. It's a, it's a tyrant flycatcher. These tyrants all have, a lot of them have big heads. They uh, jump, they sit on a perch, wait to see an insect, fly out and catch the insect, fly back to the perch, or, or a different perch, depending, and uh, wait to look for another insect. And uh, that's, and then uh, here's my third painting I've been working on. I, I started this in November when I was we were down here, but uh, I got a little further on the on the deer. These are two mule deer. Now mule deer are uh, are are just a, a fantastic animal. If you ever uh, startled one in the wild, they will uh, bound or jump almost like a kangaroo, and they can. Uh, it's unbelievable to see how far they go. I was looking up on Google. And, and I uh, couldn't figure find out from Google. It's over 30 feet for sure that they can bound on a single bound starting from uh, from zero. But it may be way more than that. They on Google, everyone wants to know how high they can jump because of people want to build a fence that's high enough to keep them out. And they say seven feet uh, or eight feet. I, I I doubt it. I bet that I bet they can get over that. People are constantly underestimating animals, both their intelligence and their skills. Uh, and uh, I haven't uh, figured out what the landscape I'm going to use for these to be in. I'd um, uh, almost like uh, it to be able to be a Washington scene too, just for the purposes of utilitarianism as a to go in prints and, and uh, things. But it also might be they they're around here. The mule deer are mainly like the the uh, the valleys, and we're in the canyon here. But we have, I'm working uh, on, from, I, I work freehand, but I always have photographs. And I've got photographs, this photograph of a buck here was taken, it's one of the photographs I'm working from. This was taken on, uh, on our neighbor ran neighbor's ranch, the Miller Ranch, right, right, right about a quarter mile from here. But, uh, that's a fantastic animal. Anyway, uh, anyway, this is painting number, this is the last one, I guess. Uh, good. we got to get this movie done. Uh, this is, I don't have a title for this yet. 
this is a painting that kind of gets everyone, gets me scratching my head. Is this, is this Grady Gret in any danger? And, and, and also, is it looking for table scraps? I don't know, but it, this is, I took a photograph, uh, it's my, from my own photo taken in South Padre Island. And uh, I notice other people have taken similar photos, so this particular alligator may, may get, be a photogenic, uh, maybe a star. And somewhere here I have a, the photograph I'm working from. But it's, uh, it, it's, it's to go with the theme of Texas. And what I'm thinking, what I was thinking, is I want a poster that says, with different pictures on it, of beautiful critters uh, the, uh, from Texas. And it's, it will say, mess with Texas. And I was just so high on this idea and thinking it would be great to have in the store. Uh, and then I was talking to somebody who lived around Dallas-Fort Worth for quite a while, and he said, oh, the mess with Texas, don't mess with Texas. That's from an anti-littering campaign. They said, that's where this, the whole thing started. Don't mess with Texas, don't litter. Well, that's, that's beautiful, and I don't, wanna, I don't wanna go against that. That's, that's a wonderful idea, don't litter. So beautiful, it makes me cry. But the thing is, uh, when you talk to most people and you say, don't mess with Texas, they think, oh, that's that macho attitude that Texans have that nobody really likes. So, uh, and, and that will be great, you know, mess with Texas, uh, go against that. So now I'm kind of wondering, I'm just gonna test it out, see what people think. But I certainly don't want to be perceived as pro-littering, I'll tell you that. So uh, this, this is the last painting that I guess I showed it to you already. Uh, hopefully the Mess With Texas poster will be out in a couple months, maybe a couple years. I've been on this project now for about five years, so I don't know. I, I do it when I, when I get away, like here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my store's at uh, Pike Place Market, First and Pike, and... Uh, my name is Ed Newbold. Thank you very much for watching the Studio Rundown for April 23rd, 2023, and have a wonderful day.